Hello and welcome to La Vida Football. My name is Luis Laureano. I'm a UEFA B licensed coach. And today we're gonna to talk about the new European Super League and why I think that it will fail. So first and foremost, I actually would like to share my thoughts on it. I think it's, it's really ridiculous that this is even happening, that I'm even making a video about a European Super League being formed and a franchise league forming to have the top clubs around Europe. And it's just disappointing because really when you think about just that thought, it's like, okay, well, since when is the Champions League not enough? I don't remember the last time I said, wow, I'm sick and tired of Champions League. It hasn't ever came to my mind. And if anything, I got excited to know that, you know, the Champions League final was still going to happen. You know, Bayern won that last UEFA Champions League. I got excited that that was gonna happen. I got excited that football's back during this pandemic. It's crazy that this is even happening, especially at this time where decisions are made solely on financial gains and greed. It's really unfortunate that people are going to suffer through that. You know, it's disappointing for the fans who might be happy to some extent that, you know, on one week they'll play Barcelona and then the next week they will play against AC Milan. But that's what the Champions League is for, right? You, you compete in your domestic league, you qualify for the Champions League, you get the opportunity to play against these teams in this elite competition. And then if you're good enough, you win, right? Now let's talk about some numbers here. First and foremost, the English Premier top six Six does not include Tottenham. Does not include Arsenal. Where's Where's Leicester? Right. I, I don't see I don't see them in that league. Manchester United. They've barely been getting themselves together this season. They have done quite well. They have been performing well. They have been competing well. Now this is only one season, right? They still have some time to go to to show that they are top level team. They're not even playing Champions League. They're not even good enough at this particular time to play Champions League. So in, in my opinion, this is a little crazy that this is happening because now this is actually guaranteeing these teams to play in an elite tournament and by playing in this elite tournament they are guaranteed 300 million pounds right to win the champions league you get 110 million pounds for winning the champions league again for this particular league they would be guaranteed 300 million pounds so i mean yeah th th that could be a motivation but what, what happens to football then right because these these teams, these particular teams, they happen to have the, the best players in Europe. So now, what does that mean for national teams? Well, that means that now these national team players will have an extra game because they have a another league to compete for. The English Premier League teams already have and are already involved in four competitions, especially the elite teams, right? You have the English Premier League, you have the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, and then on top of that, you have Champions League or Europa League, depending on where you are. On top of that, you add a Europe European Super League. Now you have your now you're involved in five competitions. The quality is gonna go down. The quality is going to suffer. So I, I, I'm I'm as a football fan, I'm I'm very frustrated and disappointed that that this is even happening. And I grew up in Southern California. I grew up watching the Mexican football league and I didn't watch MLS so much, but living in Southern California, that's really all you could see in person uh, other than in the summers when, when the European teams would come. But I, I grew up watching the Mexican league and in the Mexican league, I always I always wondered why the, the teams never really changed, right? At the time I was younger, so I, I didn't really know too much. And to, to be fair, around uh, 2000, 2005, 2006 was when we were actually able to start watching some some football from Europe right but prior to that you had to have like a special dish you had to have some special box to be able to to broadcast these these games because they wouldn't be they wouldn't be on on you know the local TV channel right so I didn't get to watch European football growing up simply because it wasn't available so I would I would watch Mexican football so my question was always okay well why aren't these teams changing there were teams that that would switch right there was maybe one or two teams in the Mexican league that would be different or that would be new to me right and 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 I was wondering and my I always asked my dad and he would always say yeah it's based on points a point system so depending on where you finish on the table you you add that and and it gets accumulated so the worse you do the more points you gather and then eventually once you are the worst with respect to the the numbers that you have you are sent to the second league right but it was it's very difficult for the top teams to get relegated like I think it's almost impossible to be honest now now it's not even possible now it's like fixed right so this is what they're trying to do with this European Super League. The MLS has it. The MLS has franchise teams, and that's what, that's what their whole sports model is, right? Basketball, American football. They're they're all franchises. You cannot get relegated. You cannot promote to anything more than what it is, right? There is no UEFA Champions League. There is no Concacaf Champions League. There's there's no competition that 
goes in addition for doing well or performing well. It's it's that one championship. And that's what the European Super League is trying to do is, okay, well, we have these elite teams and we want them to compete and we want the best to be the best and, and to show the world that there is one great team. And that team will get more money, of course, right? So at the end of the day, it's it's sad. It's disappointing because this is all geared by, by greed and uh, it's unfortunate, right? Now, do I think that this league would be success will be successful I do not think that it will be successful right now as far as as far as I know it's 15 teams that will be competing right and um but which by the way you know my my I'm not a Bayern fan but respects to Bayern for declining this respects to Porto for declining this and if there are other teams that decline respects to them as well I think PSG I'm not really sure, but if there are any teams that, that rejected this offer to be part of this European Super League, respect to those club owners because they are focusing on football. The, the, the real decision is based on football and that's how it should be, right? Yeah. Um, again, so I think it's going to fail. I think it's going to fail because number one, it's driven by greed and, and football. You know, the, at the end of the day, people will see what, what, what is what and this is not going to last. I, I can guarantee that it's not going to last. And, and if it does, right, and if it has happens to you know move forward and and in five years we we still have this then it'll it'll change and i think in five years if this happens then i think this 15 european super league teams will become 20 and then 10 years from now it'll become 30 and then next thing you know we're back to the champions league and it's going to be like well what, what was this all what was this all about right like what was the point of this so i am disappointed as a football fan as someone who loves football and and who created this football channel for football specific reasons i'm disappointed i hope this doesn't move forward i hope that these team owners can really step outside the greed and 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 really you know give give the people the fans what they want and that's just quality football and i don't see anything wrong with progression if, if there's a if there's a better way to you know to to enhance competition i'm all for it, but to separate and say that these are the elite clubs and the, and some are right some some have earned the right to say that they are the, the top club in their domestic leagues but others haven't they haven't been consistent right but if there is if there is another way of reformatting the champions league and, and making it just a little bit more competitive then i'm all for it but you know to, to essentially just give a gift to a, a team for them to call themselves a top club uh, that, that to me is not competition that goes against all what i believe as a as a as a as a human to uh with respect to sport and um yeah i i, I don't accept it you know so uh, anyways that that is how i feel this is i made this video specifically to talk about that uh, I, i'm curious to know what you guys think about this new super league I'm curious to know if you if you agree with it, disagree with it, you agree with me, you disagree with me. Whatever it is, let me know. Comment that in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.